<laughs> Ow, blew my ears out. What's up guys and gals and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name. And Ghost of Tomorrow is the game. Ah, and in today's episode, that's right, we're playing another spooky game to continue on with our comeback video series. <laughs> I have no idea what this game is about. We're just going to jump right in and feel it out as we go. I love feeling stuff. And I hope you do too. Because we're going to fill out stuff together. <laughs> let's uh, let's start a new game, bro. And away we go. Into the... Hi, Amanda. How's college? Hey, Mom. It's great. How's your roommate, Gail? He seems a bit strange when I met him. I don't like you sharing an apartment with a stranger, you know. He is fine, Mom. We get along really well. We even take some classes together. Gotta go. Gonna drive to my apartment. Bye. Okay, drive safe. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ghosts of Tomorrow, Chapter 1. August 23rd, 2019, 8.50 p.m. What are we driving, a Tesla? Or a... This ain't no Tesla. This is a Tesseract. <laughs> I like the, uh, the dash display. The two front speakers. Uh, it's looking pretty weak. New voice message received from Gail. Gail? What kind of a name is Gail? Alright. Uh, oh, we can look around. Sexy. How do we listen? E, F. What do we, what do, we do here? This is a long road. Okay, I can only look left and right. I'm pushing all the buttons. Nothing is happening. Hello? <laughs> Car. Please play voice message. This is getting a bit strange. Every button I push does nothing. Clickety click clacks, nothing. Navigation, on. Play voicemail, you stupid Tesseract car. Oh, we're getting, oh. We're coming up on a city. Okay, well let's just ride it out. This is strange. I just put a new Invisalign in, though I'm, I have a little bit of a lift. Okay, we made it to the city. Excellent. I'm gonna get me a burger. Mm. Oh, what the hell? We are driving under buildings. I <laughs> cool. Oh, uh. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I guess this is the game. Uh, hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, oh, okay. I am so stupid. You just look over towards it. Playing voice message from Gail. We got it. Hey, Amanda. I was thinking maybe we should get together on the weekend to study for Monday's exam. I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could go to a coffee place and... He's trying to get into my pants. Okay. Yeah, these new Tesseract cars are pieces of dookie schnats. Let's just turn it. Oh! Oh! Not good. The automatic detection in this car is terrible. Let's have us a gander out here. It's raining. Okay, I don't see nothing. I got spun around because the city is that way. Let's get back in. I just soiled myself. She's going to be in the car. I'm not stupid. Oh, it's got an, it's got an alarm. Cool. Flashlight? We don't have a flashlight. Oh, oh, God, that scared me. Yeah. 
What a piece of crap. Okay, well, we, we made it home. I must live in an apartment. Well, I think it said I lived in an apartment. Whatever. Shut your mouth, all right? I'm not perfect. Going up. Uh-oh. What is this funky shit? Okay. Uh, elevator? Okay, let's, uh, step on the elevator. Excellent. Now... I guess we push a button? Okay, let's hit a button! What floor am I on? Oh, I hate elevators. Oh, oh, oh. Please stop it. Oh, God. All right, we're moving. We moved. We're here. Oh, man. Wonder how much a month I pay for this shithole. Why am I limping? Okay, made it back. Excellent. There's been strange things going on tonight. Must be tired. Gonna go to bed and get some sleep. Because Gail tried to get in my pants. Gave me some shit about studying. I'm not stupid. Gail must be resting in his room. I shouldn't bother him right now. Eh, he's probably in there pulling his pewter. <laughs> Let's listen. Yep, I knew it. Watching the Brazzers. <laughs> okay. That's a nice little place. That stove is kick-ass. I dig it. Okay, so I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. So we're just going to walk around and check out the place. Somebody left out their, uh, their peaches and their Chinese food. That is one old-ass microwave. That is a retro 90s microwave. I hate saying retro. Makes me feel old. Especially when I reference the 90s. Feels like yesterday. Okay, so it is 9.12 at night. It's not super late. At least it's not the witching hour. Light switch. Bathroom light is out again. Great. I told Gail. He, he takes the smelliest of dumps. It blows out our light bulbs. All right, here's my bedroom. Oh, yes, nice. Love this. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Let's check out the decorations here. Typical college student. All right, let's go to sleep. Oh. 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 Uh. Uh. I really yawned. The hell's that sound? Oh, great. My Galaxy phone is broken. Oh, God. Whoa. Huh? Huh? Down! Oh, God. Okay, drive safe. Amanda, are you coming home this weekend? Amanda, are you coming home this weekend? Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days, and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. Why don't you get out of my damn... Ow. Get out of my business. Oh, that made my eyes water. God, what a bugaboo. So, here's what I'm thinking. We're not really here. What I'm guessing, because I've played tons of horror games, is that we're in some kind of alternate dimension. Pizza? Pepperoni? Oh, God! Hello? Oh, that's the shitter. Okay, whoever rang the doorbell, I'm having trouble finding it. <laughs> oh, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. Oh, a note! Gail, it's me, Martha. Amanda's mother. Do you know where Amanda is? She hasn't answered my phone calls for two days. 
please, if you know anything, call me. She literally slipped a note under my door. <sighs> okay, I'm hearing noises. What is Gale doing in there? Gale must be resting in his room, shouldn't Yeah, he's doing some kinky shit in there. Why is it getting louder? Oh, wow. Yeah, somebody must have used Energizer batteries for that. All right, it's all right. Sometimes those clocks uh, glitch out. No big deal. What? Oh, God. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I did a thing. Gail? I'm going to need you to quit beating your meat. God, kick the door in. There's a lot of strange things happening right now. Can I go to sleep now? Okay. Sleepy time? No. Great. Fantastic. Yeah, something's about to happen, dog. There we go. From now on, this light stays on 24-7. Do you hear that, Gale? Oh, yeah. Missing person, Amanda Graham. 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 Last seen outside Harvey University on August 23rd, wearing a white tank top and jean shorts. Brown eyes, dark hair, 5'7", 120 pounds, age 22. That be me, dog. Great, now I'm hearing someone cry. Fantastic. Doors locked. Gail must have beat itself to sleep. Oh god, now he's doing some kinky stuff to the door. He's got a girl in there. Gail, take it easy on her, bro. Gail! Come on, she sounds like she's in pain, bro. Why, Gail was really putting it on her. Okay, I'm gonna go back to sleep. <sighs> oh, God. Huh? Flashlight? Got a flashlight, bro. Missing student. Body found! Stabbed by roommate. Alleged killer turned himself into police. Wow. Body found in crawl space hidden behind a false wall inside a closet. Mr. Rogers' room? Amanda's roommate, 24-year-old Gail Rogers, was arrested after confessing to hiding body. Police searched for Amanda's whereabouts for two weeks. Oh, God. We are dead. Please quit playing that music. My flashlight is out. I am now a ghost that drives a Tesseract car. No wonder it's a piece of shit. What are we supposed to do here? Okay. Let's, uh... No! Oh, God, yeah! Ha, ha, ha! That sucked. That sucked bad. Get me the hell out of here. What the hell is that? Oh, uh, it must have been the girl Gail was banging. Uh, let's just walk up on her. Hey, hey, miss, look, I tried to tell Gail to take it easy on you. But he wouldn't listen. Why did my flashlight turn off? Oh, ho, 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 <sighs> You're back. Mad Vlad's back on YouTube, guys. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God, shit. Okay, I fucking, I'm done. Ha! <laughs> <gasps> that sexy bald head. Ooh.
Ooh. Ah, oh, okay. Let's uh, move away. That was not cool. That was not cool at all. So we we got closer. The light turned off. Let's check this note again. Okay. Same. Sh oh, Gail's room is open. It definitely was that girl. Oh, come on. It is so black in here. My flashlight don't even work. Hello? Oh, God! Wow. No fate. Is this a Terminator movie? It must be. Where's Sarah Connor? Was that who Gail was banging? Makes sense. Oh, man, this game. Oh, man. What was that? Did you hear a toilet flush? Okay. Oh. Musical doors? Oh, is this the gates of hell? Okay, so those doors are automatically closing. Don't want to choose the wrong one. God, those doors. All right, so we're going to have to do this systematically. Let's go through the first door. Okay. Okay. Bloody door. Definitely wasn't that one. In loving memory, Amanda Graham, 1997 to 2019. Gee whiz, dude. In 1997, I was 14 years old. Yeah, well, I am. I got a little tickle in my throat there. <sighs> Moving on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game. I'm just gonna walk at her. I'm just gonna walk at her. No! I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, where'd he went through? What door did I not go through? Did I go through this one? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Let's see, Gail Rogers sentenced to 25 years in prison. Gail Rogers pleads guilty to murder. And he only gets 25 years? Police found Roger Rogers writing, raging about society and loneliness. Prosecutor says he was romantically obsessed with Amanda. I knew it. I knew it. I was always wondering why I had those things hanging. <laughs> That's terrible. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're we're narrowing the doors down here, Bray. Narrowing them down. Who is that? Sir? You got some nice pectoral muscles. Oh, jeez. Great, so we're going to have to walk at him so we know we all know what's going to happen. He's going to like <laughs> right in our face. So let's prepare. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, oh my god, you stupid son of a bitch. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Bastard. Let's go in here. Was that Gale? That had to have been Gale. What's this? Throughout history, people have experienced the supernatural event of a time slip. What is a time slip? A time slip is when a person or group of people travel back in time through supernatural ways, not technological like a time machine. This happens because time is not linear or fixed as we perceive it. Time is fluid, but exists within a context of a single point of space. In the year of 1996 in Liverpool, Frank was shopping with his wife and they decided to split up. Frank went to the record store, and she went to Dylan's bookshop. As he walks towards the store, 
A 1950s van with the name Kaplan's on the side crossed in front of him. He saw that Dylan's bookstore now had a Crips signage. The shop was selling women's purses and shoes instead of books. He looked around and everyone around him were all dressed in the fashions from the 1950s, but bizarrely, a young woman walked past him with a popular purse from the 90s, which reassured him that he was somewhat still in 1996. Frank followed that woman into the store, and the store turns back into a bookstore. She told Frank she too had thought the store was a clothes shop. It was later proven that Crips and Kaplan's were actual local businesses from Liverpool during the 50s. Frank did not only travel back in time, he was standing right between both 1950s and 1996. These experiences are real. The universe works in mysterious and inexplicable ways. However, the true cause of time slips remains unknown. Okay, cool. I had a time slip once. I was, uh, pleasuring myself to a nice tall glass of chocolate milk. And it tasted like shit for five seconds, so I'm assuming I got shot back to medieval times. What the hell? Oh god, man, I've got gas really bad. I don't know if it's just gas or if it's just this game. Okay, stop the madness. Cool. I will. I will stop the madness now. I've got two more doors. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Chill out. Just calm down. One more door. Chill the hell out. Okay, that's it. No more doors. We went through them all. Can we open the door we've already been in? No, we cannot. Did we miss a door? There's no way. Now, we did get jump scared at this first door, so yeah, it's this door. Ha ha. All right. Let's go back to 1997, bro. We're boys to men was the greatest album ever made. I don't think it was 97. Close your eyes like the fires I will suck your toes The hell? Ah! over slow pop that thing I am back at home was it all just a nightmare <laughs> all right the New York dicks are playing <laughs> the Richards all right but you call them dicks for short okay Cool. What the hell's going on here? Why are we watching soccer? Or football, as they call it. I don't remember this room. This is a completely different place. Nah, bro. Something still ain't right, dog. We didn't just pass out on the couch. What the hell is that? Can I crouch? No. I like the open floor plan. It's really sexy. Gail? Locked. Locked. Schlocked. Schlocked. See? 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 I'm hearing stuff now. <laughs> Come on, man! What now? Yeah, see, I knew it. I used to see those lines on my TV when my Nintendo would go nuts and I'd have to blow the cartridge out. Dog, please stop it. Please, I don't want to turn around. Let's turn around! 
Was that the dead girl? Oh god. Hello? Oh! Oh! Hello? What's that stupid sound? What is this? The doctor has told me that writing my thoughts is therapeutic and might help with the trauma. How much more can I handle? After losing my daughter to a murderer, which itself is a horrible tragedy, my husband has been very absent. Our daughter's death has been devastating to him and understandably so. I myself feel devastated too. However, I try to move forward in life with him and my son, Dylan. Of course, the death of his sister has also affected Dylan gravely, especially for a young 18-year-old boy. But at least, I still feel he is around me, unlike my husband. He tries his hardest to still give emotional support to this family. Still, my son's behavior has also changed. I quite don't know how to put it, but something about him seems very different. I'm assuming that's who was by the bathtub with his pants around his ankles that jumped out at me caused me to turtle head can we leave so this is uh, my parents house I'm assuming my brother is going to do something to himself that's not not so good what is this another note I had feared my husband could be back to alcohol addiction aside from being absent in our family's life now he seems to be drowning his sorrows with alcohol like he once used to this once old habit which he had overcome a long time ago, a few years after our marriage, now has creeped in again. His family always had a history of depression, alcohol addiction, and other mental illnesses. I am really worried for him. I don't know what to do. He barely talks to me. And when we do, it's just arguing. We argue about what happened to Amanda. He gets mad at me because he thinks I'm insane. He doesn't believe me when I say it. When I say something about our daughter's murder wasn't right. I know that somehow she knew she was in trouble. We could have done something to stop it. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Dad disappeared. Like that one music video. So today I found out that my son is doing drugs. I think that, 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 that. There's a typo. Gale Monster not only killed our daughter, but killed each of each one of us. Amanda's death has left a turmoil in this family, and I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, my son has a lot of his father in him. I tried talking about it with him, but he just won't. How much more can I handle? I myself have been depressed ever since Amanda died, but I am not one to channel my depression into substance abuse. That's just not the way I was taught to confront things in life in my house. I try to keep my faith in God, and I find some peace. I am the only one here trying to keep this family together from breaking apart. Alright. That is one cool ass poster. I really dig that. It kind of signifies everybody's head is in a box. And that people are sheeple. You throw some pretty colors in front of them and it hypnotizes them. From the true reality. Holy crap mother. Is that you? Let's walk towards her. Yay! Oh, yeah. I knew she was going to do that. Yeah. I got a bad feeling we're going to see something terrible. All right. There's some pictures of me. Here's another note. Let's read it. I sometimes go to Amanda's room and try to find some comfort. Being in her room reminds me of her. I almost feel like she's around here. A few days ago, I swear I saw a figure that looked like Amanda walking down the hall. I also hear mysterious footsteps around the house when I'm alone. It has to be her. Her spirit is following me. Maybe. Maybe. Last door. Who's... Oh, yeah. See what happens. Nothing. Okay, yeah. I don't have a reflection. I knew I was a damn vampire. I spoke to my husband about the day I saw Amanda, and of course he thinks I'm insane and delusional. He immediately dismisses any conversation related to Amanda. He is afraid to confront anything related to her. It's almost like he wants to forget about her entirely. 
We've been discussing a divorce. He says being around the house makes him more depressed. He rented an apartment for himself, and I barely see him or talk to him. How much more can I handle of any of this? My boy Dylan is also barely around. His drug addiction has taken a toll on him. Cool. Excellent. Good old Dylan. And here we go. Go ahead and show me. Yeah, go ahead and show me. I'm not stupid. I gotta find a way to get out. Uh, get out of what? Death? Gotta find a way to get out of the bathroom? Just take a fat shit. Melt through the floor. Hey, I remember those little toilet hangy downy things. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've got a body. Didn't know anything about that? There's a key. Gee, that was hard. Oh no. Oh no. What now? Okay. Nothing in the drawers. Another key. Gotcha. Go ahead, jump out. I don't care. Out we go. My guts are rumbling right now, dog. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Was that me? That looked like me. Oh, this door opened. Excellent. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. How much longer, how much longer, blah, 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 blah. Will it ever stop? I can't. Usually I write that, stop the madness, stop the madness, when I'm on the toilet and I can't poop. Okay, so we're just finding keys. Here we go. Father of murdered roommate commits suicide. Arthur Graham found dead in apartment. Great. Oh, God. Arthur Graham found dead in his apartment. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. That was my dad. It was all just a dream. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have taken those zannies and drank that fifth of whiskey. Amanda, can you read my text? Yeah, what's wrong? I can't believe it. This is unreal. Is it really you, Amanda? What? Thank you for playing Ghost of Tomorrow. I couldn't read that all. That was a little bit too quick, but that's it. Chapter one is finished. Our father killed himself. We woke up, and we started texting our mom. So are we texting her from the other side? I have no idea. But we're going to keep a lookout for chapter two, for sure. That was pretty interesting. Let's see if they're... Let's hit quit. Nah, that's it. That about does it for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. You don't have to. I don't care if you do or not. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Check out the merch. It's the best merch in the universe. If you want to support the channel, check me out on Patreon. We are continuing a banned gameplay series completely unfiltered for the $10 tiers and up. <gasps> Go check it out. I live stream on Twitch every Saturday around 12 o'clock EST. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>